I'm Natasha Antonioni with Austin Life. I'm a realtor here in town and we cover neighborhoods, design, and all things to do here. Today, I'm taking you on a tour of East Austin. And I have to tell you, we couldn't be in a more perfect location to start. Right behind us is one of our famous murals attached to the Whistler's Bar, which is a super fun outdoor. They do have an indoor space as well. Great cocktails. I love this neighborhood because of the colorful contrast between the old and the new. Now I'm gonna take you to some of my favorite restaurants in East Austin and show you a little bit of real estate in the neighborhood because man, is it on the rise over here. Die do at 2406 Mainer Road. These guys are a paleo's dream come true. And in the pre-COVID days, there was a nightly DJ, often female, filling not just your sense, but the sounds with tunes to groove to. They even have their own new school of traditional cookery. You can visit their site to check out more information on their hunting and butchery classes. Die do was created in 2006 to reconsider what our food is and will be. By using ingredients that are present in our region, we are able to serve foods that are fresher, buy food that is produced in a fair and equitable way, represent local culinary traditions, and support farmers and ranchers who are striving to improve the quality of our food. Love them. Franklin Barbecue. This place has a constant line around the corner, located at 900 East 11th Street. You can smell it when you're driving up and your mouth already starts to water if you're a barbecue lover. Known in Austin as the best barbecue in the known universe. Plus, you can now order it online to any place in America. Yep, that's right, in Austin, we share. And Aaron Franklin, the founder, has even gone so far as to share his secrets on his masterclass. Native Hostel Bar and Cafe, located at 807 East 4th Street. I have been to some fun parties at this location. It's a hostel like no other in that the accommodations attract a more design savvy clientele. Besides being a hotspot venue prior to COVID, hosting some of the city's swankiest parties for our local magazine, Tribeza, to the experiential events they have, like their current show, Mesmerize. Ah Sing Den, ooh, this is one of my favorites. Located at 1100 East 6th Street. I love the atmosphere in this place. It is like such a wonderful, eclectic mix of items from old chandeliers to old velvet chairs to the really colorful staff that works there. It was named after the world's most famous opium den from the Victorian times in East London where Charles Dickens, author Conan Doyle, and other creative people derived inspiration. It's a bar serving Asian-inspired hot and cold dishes, plus sweets, cocktails, and sake in an intimate setting. Hillside Pharmacy, located at 1209 East 11th Street, resides in a building owned by one of the oldest standing African-American East Austin residents. In the 50s, pharmacist Doc Young and his family operated Hillside Drugstore. The drugstore closed in the 70s and was restored by the Hillside Pharmacy, where they're known for their comfort food, like their old-fashioned mac and cheese, grass-fed burgers, and kale Caesar. Lazarus Brewing Company, located at 1902 East 6th Street. On their website, it says, Coffee, Beer, Tacos, Joy. Safely. They make their own beer and have to-go packages, a huge outdoor patio with fans, misters, and room for everyone. The real estate in East Austin is quickly on the rise very, very similar to the transition that took place in Venice, California on Abbott Kinney. It is becoming a hub for artists, creatives, interesting mom and pop shops, and what used to be a place that you could find real estate in the 500s is quickly climbing near the millions. For example, this 4513 Page Street property hosts 2,314 square feet. It was built in 2013 with a total of three bedrooms and three bathrooms. Here's another example of just under that million dollar mark at 2307 East 2nd Street, number A. In this situation, it's a lot that's been divided into two, and this property is going for 973,000, 
with a square footage of 1864, built in 2014 on 0.08 acres with five bedrooms and three baths. You can check out 1306 Navasota Street on a video that we also did recently. And this property has 2,789 square feet. It's on 0.12 acres. It's got three levels and its own apartment. And it's got four bedrooms and five baths total. So cheers, welcome to East Austin. What was your favorite restaurant? Leave a comment below.